Hi guys! So if you are curious about the two best seller sunblock from uh, Elta MD and it's going to be a battle between the UV Clear SPF 46 and this one here that's a UV Physical uh, SPF 41 it's a tinted well keep on watching because I'm going to go over both products and which one you should invest in so hi, I'm Madeleine. I'm the founder and uh, owner of Sparkle Lifestyle and Medispa. And yes, we do sell the product, but I think I have enough experience for both of them to be able to really recommend uh, the right one for you. Because those are the two best sellers or the one that people are the most curious about. And which one should you get? So personally, I'm acne prone in a more oily skin so my uh, my favorite is definitely the uv clear spf 46 where the uv physical spf 41 would be the good the good one for more more the people that are more dry sensitive people that are looking for a little coverage so the main reason why i personally don't enjoy this one for my skin type it's because of the ingredient like dimity cone um, it's not an ingredient that works well for my skin and it's not an ingredient that I recommend for people that are really acne prone or super oily. It's a good, it protects your skin, um, but I found it doesn't allow my skin to breathe well. I have tendency to break out with it versus the UV Clear. UV Clear doesn't have that ingredient. So in terms of the active ingredient in it, both have the same percentage of zinc oxide, 9% in the 41, and another 9% uh, in the 46 clear. They both have, um, this one have 7% titanium dioxide, where this one have the 7.5 octinoxan. <laughs> I'm sorry, my English is not perfect here, but that's the main difference. So that's why this one feel a little bit lighter, where this one's a little bit thicker. The 41 have a tint and the clear doesn't. And I um, will give you an example of the texture. So this one here. This is the tint of the product. So the texture is quite nice. It's really silky. Um, I have a more olive um, skin tone. I personally, there's a little tiny bit of orange tint tint in it but you need to realize that I'm an olive skin tone so it fits for most people um, some people find the, the color a little tiny bit yellow orange but it spread kind of nice though so I don't think it's a big issue and it kind of I mean it disappear like it's not like a really um, heavy tint now I will show you the clear SPF 46 how the texture feels like so it's a pump. You can already feel it's a little more um, lighter as a texture and it doesn't leave any white film. That's what I appreciate um, a lot from it. My One of my favorite is the VD Share 45. That's the one I use on a regular basis um, because it act more as a primer for me but this one here um it smelled quite nice and it it really absorbed in the skin much better than the sheer 45 um but i like the sheer 45 for the for the primer effect of it where this one doesn't have that feeling where the other one have more like a, a film a residue probably due to the titanium dioxide in it both products should be reapplied every two hours when you're exposing the sun and every 40 minutes uh, if you're sweating or um, if you're wet or swimming. Another thing that I really enjoy from this year 40, 40, um, 46 is really um, the vitamin that's in it. It, it contains niacinamide. Niacinamide. Niacinamide hyaluronic acid and some lactic acid so that's really good for your acne prone where the sheer 41 have more where the sheer 45 have mostly um, antioxidant and ingredient that will really kind of uh, nourish your skin I really hope this little video helped you choose 
uh, better between the two uh, Elta and the Sunblock. In resume, I would definitely suggest the UV46 for uh, people that are oily or acne prone and the, um, and the Elta and the uh, SPF 41 tinted for people that are more dry to normal looking for a light coverage. If you are acne prone, oily, but would like to have a good sunblock um, that have some coverage, I would definitely recommend um, Osmosis Mineral Press Powder. This is mine and I I love it. Uh, well, oops, this is not mine. <laughs> it's actually um, a tester. Um, wrong color. Uh, but yeah, so this one have zinc oxide at 25%. Um, you just use it with the Kabuki brush and this product offer a nice sun protection and give you a little coverage. So that's my day-to-day -day, um, go-to. So I hope this helped you understand a little bit better which one to choose. If you have any question, please reach out. I'm more than happy to help. So have a beautiful day.